Hello, welcome to How to Draw Celtic Knots. I'm your host, Jason Bellchamber. Ran out of memory, so our light is a little bit different right now than the last segment. But you can see we've got our ribbon of the interlace or knot work all traced out. Now what I want you to do is take your 0.5 Stettler pigment liner and your eraser and erase the inside of the spine. Just the pencil work is what you're going to want to do. Leave the outside of the of the triangle. There we go. And then the harder pencil that you use, the better. It's easier to erase. However, the harder pencils tend to leave lines on the paper because they're harder, which is kind of weird. So if you go to like an HB or a 2B, or a 2H, I mean. That'll alleviate that. The other thing is, if you erase at this point too, it tends to take a little bit of the ink away that you've drawn down here. All right, so take your 0.5 Stettler pigment liner, and let's start inking in the negative space around the design. What the uh, picture artists would have done at this point is they would have uh, made their ribbon, likely with a chalk, um, around grid points and then carved away at it. Other techniques that um, <coughs> stone carvers use is to actually use an acid to etch the design and then engrave in. You can actually use a really strong acid made from say vinegar and put a big slab of marble into acid and it will make it softer than when it's hard. But we don't have any um, Roman or Pictish ancient carvers to ask exactly how they did it, so it's still going to remain a bit of a mystery. Okay, so we're almost done doing most of the interlace here. I like to draw the design a little thicker, the positive space a little bigger, because the, uh, the dark negative space really eats it up. and actually is a little stronger to the eye. All right, so next. Let's trace that triangle that we had. space here. Draw a little circle here and here just to balance the space. You'll find that the uh, artists in who made the book of Lindisfarne as well as the book of Kells actually used dots to fill up the negative space. It's something one of the Haida artists out in British Columbia taught me too. You have to always have a balance of space and so it will please the eye. All right. And when I was over in uh, Rose Marquis in Scotland, I f saw some of the key patterns. They used dots and what I think they did is they used the dots to carve around and then they'd carve out the dots so that the uh, interlacer knot work actually popped out but they left some um, in the following um, series I'll show you key patterns all right <sighs> let's just draw an even 
uniformly spaced triangle around this just by freehand. If you've got any questions, just email me at jason at bellchamber.net. Thanks.